This video includes the DC fan, lab view switch, relay, ladder logic, circuit diagrams. But first, just the DC fan and a switch. This is a ladder logic circuit diagram. There's the fan and the switch. That's a power rail. That's the ground or neutral rail. And that's called a rung. It's like the rung of a ladder. The switch is shown in its normally open position. When the switch is closed, the fan will be connected to the 10 volt power rail. Did you notice the current limit light during startup? The voltage dropped from 10 volts to 7 volts, and the current did not exceed 500 milliamps. This current limiting feature will be important later. Here's a DC power supply. It's turned on and set to 10 volts. And one thing you're cautioned to do is never connect the positive directly to the negative. That's called a short. You never do that on a power supply unless the power supply is designed for that. It would be designed for that if it has a current limit, limit feature. In other words, it's a very nice feature that allows the current to be limited to any set value. When the current limit light is on, it means that the current limit can be set. I want to set the current limit to 500 milliamps. And now, no matter what is connected at 10 volts, the current will never exceed 500 milliamps. Now replace the real switch with a lab view switch. That's the virtual switch on the uh, screen, on the computer screen. How to write this computer program in the language called lab view later. There are current and voltage meters, and the fan, the power supply, and the relay, the lab view switch is turned on. The lab view switch is turned off. The voltage created by lab view appears at the terminal block. The voltage is applied to the relay. The relay is the switch between the power supply and the fan. The ammeter measures 4 milliamps from the terminal block to the relay. The voltmeter measures 4 volts at the terminal block and the relay input. The fan draws 420 milliamps through the relay output at 10 volts. Here's the ladder logic circuit diagram. Lab view switch activates the relay using small voltage and current. The relay contacts close when the relay is activated. Then the fan is energized and draws a hundred times the current that LabVIEW can provide. Now, writing the LabVIEW program. Start LabVIEW. Open a blank VI. VI stands for Virtual Instrument. Every VI has a front panel and 
a block diagram. Tile up and down so that you can see both at the same time. That's the front panel and that's the block diagram. Right click on the front panel and select classic, then classic boolean, then vertical toggle switch. Change its name to fan switch. Notice that a terminal block is automatically created. Right click on the block diagram and select input and DAC assistant. Select Generate Signals, Analog Output, Voltage. Select AO0, which is Analog Output on Channel 0, then Finish. Enter 4 volts maximum and 0 volts minimum. RSE means Reference Single Ended. Select One Sample on Demand, then click OK. Right-click on the block diagram, select Arithmetic and Comparison, then Comparison, then Select. Place it on the block diagram. Draw the two wires. The cursor will automatically turn into a wiring tool. Move the cursor over the bottom input terminal and it'll turn into a wiring tool. Then right-click to create a constant. Then create a constant of 4 for the top input terminal. Right-click on the block diagram. Select Execution Control and While Loop. Draw the while loop by left-clicking here. And move to the bottom right while holding the left-click. The block diagram now contains the finished program. All objects can be resized and repositioned. To run the program or execute the program, press this arrow.